Women's basketball team now knows they are now knows who they are playing. It's South Carolina. It's going to be in the final four. That game will be this Friday night at eight o'clock, and it'll be the first time the Iowa women have been to the final four in yeah. three years. TV9 Scott Sable, Jack Leto, and Chelsea Brown. We got the whole team traveling to Dallas to cover the Hawkeyes. Scott and Chelsea joining us now. First of all, guys, how's the trip, and where are you right now? We are in Butler, Missouri, right in the middle of Missouri in front of Crazy Max Motors. And you see Crazy Max behind us. But Chelsea's <laughs> loving it because it's nice and warm. It is. It's so sunny. I mean, you can't ask for better weather. And it's only going to get warmer as we get uh, further south. All right. If you see Crazy Max, say hi for us. Hey, how even is this matchup I will. <laughs> between Iowa and South Carolina? Because South Carolina is pretty good. Well, according to the odds makers, South Carolina is a 12 point favorite. You know, they're a really talented team. They've won 42 games in a row. They're 36 and 0 this year. They've been the best team in the country the last couple of years. They had the best player in the country last year, Aaliyah Boston. She's still pretty good. And she's 6 5 and a forward, Chelsea. And they have a 6 7 center. They are I loaded. Know. Yeah, I know. Their height is going to be a yeah. huge challenge for the Hawkeyes. But what we've seen, especially throughout their run in the tournament for Iowa, is their perimeter shooting. When they're knocking down threes, they are lethal. Yeah, I guess. if you can hit threes like they do, mm -hmm. you can beat anybody. Absolutely. Let's talk about where the Hawkeyes, what the Hawkeyes did well to get here in the last couple of matchups in the Sweet 16 and Elite Eight. What can they take with them now to this Final Four matchup? Well, uh, we talked about a little bit, three-point mm -hmm. shooting. I think ever since Caitlin Clark made that shot to beat Indiana, the buzzer beater, yeah. they have been on fire. Not just her, everyone's been on fire. Absolutely. I think you said it best, the confidence that's kind of carried over from that game. You've seen it throughout their entire Big Ten tournament, now into the NCAA tournament. They're kind of just carrying themselves with confidence. And when Louisville went on that 8 no run to start their game, um, they didn't really didn't waver off. Them. Yep, it didn't phase them at all. They kind of just regathered themselves, collected themselves, and went out and got the W. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Well, Caitlin Clark has to only be thinking about the tournament, but obviously there's other things she might be thinking about. One is she could win the Naismith Women's Player of the Year Award. What a crown jewel that would be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she will win. That will be announced at a press conference tomorrow. We'll be there. That will be in Dallas. And then the next day they will announce the AP Player of the Year, which I think she will win. That will be at the arena right after their practice. I mean, her stats, her numbers yeah. speak for themselves this year. 900-plus uh, points, 300-plus assists in a single season. And then her triple-double on the stage against Louisville. I mean, a 40-point triple-double. She's the first player ever to do that in the NCAA tournament. I don't know how. She doesn't she win wins it. it. She has changed the game of women's mm -hmm. college Absolutely. basketball by herself. And that's really, I mean, that's amazing what she's doing for women's basketball. Their ratings in the last game against Louisville, oh. sky high. This, I believe, the South Carolina game will be the most people that have ever watched a women's college basketball game ever. Sweet 16 up 70% yep. viewership on television. That's just incredible to see. And just like it's you said. Caitlin. Yes, the Clark yeah. effect. That's what yeah, they're calling they, it, yeah. the Clark effect. You can understand why the team is so much fun to watch and we know you've got a lot planned between now and Friday. What stories can we expect to see later tonight? Well, John Campbell's got a story coming up here at 6 o'clock on the last time 30 years ago that it went to the Final Four. That was in Atlanta. And then coming up tonight at 10, we'll talk to Caitlin Clark's dad. And he talks a little about her confidence and how before she even got to Iowa, she said she was going to play in a Final Four. You also had a fun story last time John Campbell went. Well, what are you riding on? Oh, yeah, that <laughs> horse and buggy. We're taking a car. He actually, it was so long ago that uh, he went on a horse and buggy. <laughs> maybe maybe they're selling that at that uh, dealership behind you in Butler, huh? Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, Dave, Chelsea, thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to your reports. And stay with us here on TV9. We'll be right back.